this is John Paul Ryan. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This article is actually pretty interesting. It's called Netflix Indicted by Texas Grand Jury for Cuties Film. If you don't know Cuties, a lot of people have accused it of using underage girls, 11-year-old girls, for sexual scenes. And those people are right because that's what happened. I saw the scene. It was, I personally think, very distasteful and I would say crossing the line and the whole defense from people defending the movie say well it's actually against child sexuality child sexualization but the problem is they actually used real children in the movie and this judge well he picked up on that let's see what we got the charge is without merit and we stand by the film a Netflix spokesperson says of course they keep standing by it Netflix has been indicted on a criminal charge that alleges the streaming giant promotes lewd visual material of a child, and they are absolutely right, it does, that's a fact. The lawsuit centers on the release of the French film Cuties that has been mirrored by controversy since its release last month. A Tyler County, Texas grand jury moved to return an indictment against Netflix on September 23rd, Fox News confirmed on Tuesday via court documents. The complaint alleges Netflix knowingly promoted visual material which depicts the lewd exhibition of the genitals or public area of a clothed or partially clothed child who was younger than 18 years of age at the time the visual material was created, which appeals to the prudent interest in sex and has no serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. So, they say lewd exhibition of genitals, and what they mean is in the dance, there was all kind of grabbing themselves, things like that. Like I said, it was very sexualized, and they were 11 years old. And I'm on the side of this being wrong, and I hope Netflix gets slammed for it. Netflix has previously defended the film in statements to Fox News, calling the project a powerful story about the pressure girls face on social media and from society more generally growing up. Now, you know, if that's true, I'm not saying the movie doesn't actually prove a point if you look at the story, but it's irrelevant because, once again, they used real children in the movie, and they need to defend that point. No one gives a shit about the story, what the movie proves, what she was trying to do with the movie. What we care about is why she felt it was right, I mean the director, when I say she, why she felt it was right to use actual kids. The media giant doubled down on Tuesday. Cuties is a social commentary against the sexualization of young children. A spokesperson for Netflix told Fox News, this charge is without merit and we stand by the film. So if I made a movie where I, you know, I hate to say this in bad taste, but I have to say it to make a point. If I made a movie where I beat animals and I said this is against animal abuse, well, that wouldn't make sense. So we've got like the same exact thing going on here. They're actually using real children, 11-year-old girls, to be sexualized in a movie to make a movie that has a message against that. Meanwhile, Cuties writer and director, French Senegalese filmmaker, I cannot say her name in French, I'll try my best, Maya Moa Decore also penned an op-ed for the Washington Post. In it she wrote, we as adults have not given children the tools to grow up healthy in our society. Like I said, sorry sweetheart, no one cares about the point you're making about how we don't let children grow up in society. That's a separate talk. The real talk is why you thought it was okay to use actual 11-year-old girls. Don't stray from that argument. Answer that question. The film tells the coming-of-age story of an 11-year-old Senegalese girl as she discovers her maturing self all the while looking for acceptance in her religious family and group of young dancers she hopes to befriend. Like I said, like I said, fine. If it makes a point about girls growing up and things like that, that's great. But you done fucked up and you used real children and you did something wrong. So here we see the actual statement from the court so we know it's not some trashy news story. It seems like the judge or the district attorney rather tweeted this out and it's apparently really happening. In a statement on Tyler County District Attorney Lucas Babin Office's Facebook page on Tuesday, Babin said that after watching the movie he knew there was probable cause to believe it was criminal. And yeah, like I said, I've seen the worst scene in the movie, and I can't believe somebody had such low common sense to put that scene in a movie, first of all, second of all, to actually go through with it, no matter what the point about it was. The legislators of the state believe promoting 
certain lewd material of children has destructive consequences, Babin continued, if such material is distributed on a grand scale, isn't the need to prosecute more, not less. He added, a grand jury found probable cause for this felony, and my job is to uphold the laws of the state and see that justice is done. And yeah, I could not agree more. And I'm pretty surprised, you know, I thought they might just get away with this. I thought Hollywood will go in the direction of defending this and maybe make a sequel, maybe make another one. Hopefully this continues, hopefully this doesn't drop out of the news, hopefully we keep hearing about this, and hopefully there's an actual price to be paid for making this kind of movie, not just backlash, not just, you know, I don't know, 3% of cancelled subscriptions. There was a lot of cancelled subscriptions, but I think they've got over 70 million subscribers on Netflix to their service, so if like 200,000 cancelled, 300,000, hell, even if a million cancelled, yeah, that's pretty damn bad, but in the long run, they'll just keep on chugging along, people will forget, and they'll get more subscribers, they'll get to like 90 million one day, you know what I mean, but if there's some actual real consequence, some real penalty, hopefully this director will get what's coming to her, by law, by what they decide, and that'll be that. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down below. Really curious to hear some comments on this one. For me, it's pretty one-sided. I am not defending the movie whatsoever. The best I could say is okay. I guess maybe she tried in her own weird way to actually fight against sexualization of children by, you know, putting out a good message. But by using real kids, um, you kind of contradicted yourself and did something way worse than something you tried to do good. So, click that subscribe button. If you do, I'll be pretty happy. You'll get videos. We'll move on. It'll be great. If you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.